crazy. It's all we need. Oh, hold him to the ground, folks. Beautiful. All right, everybody. Welcome back to a new Xenoverse 2.5 video. And in this video, just by the uh, title, you already know I'm going to be showing you how to counter, you know, a few types of uh, common cheeses. Now, the, the reason why these are going to be the common ones now because these are the same ones that were that could be used and done in Xenoverse 2. However, they weren't used as much simply because there were other way more powerful forms of of like cheese methods people could do like the fake death spam that sort of thing um so yeah so a lot of people you know they, they hated that fake death spam uh i actually didn't have a problem with it you know i figured you know it'd be easy to counter you know you can perfect block it but <clears throat> that's no longer the case now since fake death is nowhere near as powerful as it used to be because they totally nerfed the frames on it so you, you won't see like any fake death spammers and if you do see it it's very easy to counter like it's literally just perfect blocking and i've already made a video about that uh and i'll post that link in the description uh but yeah so so in this one in this video i'm going to be showing you how to counter some of the common types of cheeses you'll see nowadays so for instance the guard mask <laughs> You already know those players that will just stand there, the move, move, and then guy mass. So I'm gonna show you how to counter that. I'm gonna show you how to counter step blockers. The ones literally step. And and it's crazy too, because they literally look like this while you're in the fight. Like that is you literally they, they look this stupid. It is ridiculous. They're in the air. Like it, it's, it's horrible, it's horrible. Um, you got spam grabbers. People that just spam grab. You know, like those, those spam grabbers, you definitely be seeing a lot more of that. And with the with the you know new Super Soul plus Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, you know those grabs are gonna be doing like so much more damage. So I'm gonna show you how to counter that as well. I'm also gonna show you how to counter this when people you know sidestep or dash back. The way they can uh, hit you and like those players are the ones that that you will see that they don't attack first at all they they solely know how to counter what that means is they only know how to counter so that's why they keep trying to dodge your attacks so they do this dodge your attacks and then that's when they'll make their attack and that's just annoying to fight so i'll be sure to show you how to counter it so let's get into it how do you counter a spam grabber Okay, you have to keep in mind, spam grabbers are generally the same people that sidestep like this, you know, the, this the annoying play style, and they're also the same ones that, that uh, spam block. So, because what, what they want to do they, is they want to perfect block, and then that's when they'll hit you with the grab, because they know if they perfect block you, then, you know, you cannot get out of the grab unless you know certain techniques, um, and most people don't. So... That, that's that's how the spam grabbers will be so when I show you how to counter it you can use this for, for like three other methods I'm going to show you so let's get into it now remember spam grabbers they're gonna stay they're gonna stay in that same location until you get close and what they'll do is they'll literally just sidestep in any direction or like you know they're dash backwards and then they'll get to the you know garden garden and grabbing guarding and grabbing the whole match <laughs> so um, what about the set? Oh, the cancels. Okay, so this is when the cancels come in handy. Because now, uh, I'm not sure if you've seen my previous videos, but I always go over cancels when I'm making a character mastery video. And let me explain to you what a cancel is. So, let me uh, put it on normal. I mean, on standard. So, you have the square square cancel, and you have a square triangle cancel. Um... You also have a square cancel and a triangle cancel for every character in the game. Every character has it. Everyone. Actually, I take that back. I take that back. Not everyone has it. Only people that can use a cancel is the ones that can actually key cancel. Well, that actually, you know, has a key attack. So, like, Android 16, he doesn't have one. Uh, Jocko, he doesn't have one, so on and so forth. So, if they don't have key balls to throw, then they cannot use a cancel. So, keep that in mind when you're using a cancel. So, the square square cancel 
for any character well you know any of the cancels very vary on the character it just depends on how their combo looks but they still have it so for instance some um square square cancels are longer than others some are sh are faster than others some you know you, you get the point and by longer i mean like it lasts longer so you know they'll end up doing more hits just with you know a two button input just like that so keep that in mind when using it that's perfect to your advantage because what you do is the the longer ones so the ones that do like more hits you use those in situations when you see your opponent dashing backwards side stepping because what that does is so so since since you're hitting them with a cancel right which means you're going in doing that square square so while they're dashing backwards or to the left or right or whatever as long as you're doing that combo your character your character is already locked into your opponent clearly and then that means that your combos are already tracking them so that means while your opponent is sidestepping you know backwards or i mean i mean sidestepping or you know dashing backwards you can still touch them as long as you're close enough so again it would look like that even though they're sidestepping and why is that so because remember you're already locked onto your opponent and obviously the combos track so if the combos didn't track, you know, so like for instance, if I hit him from this angle, you can clearly see my character move forward, track my opponent. If I hit him from this angle, same thing. So obviously, you know, the combos track your opponent, which is why you have to be locked on in order to actually use, uh, you know, to actually attack them. So that was just, you know, me going over a, what exactly a, a, a cancel is. Because if you don't know the terminology, you won't understand the methods and how to use them. So keep that in mind as we progress through this video. So again, square, uh, you have the square square cancel. And basically all you do is you just do the square square. So you do like the rush in square. And by rush in, I mean like this. So if I do like the square combo, right? Let me reset it. Let me put him on standing. Oh, good. He's already there. So if I just do like the basic square combo. clearly see that's 11 hit combo though right but if you do the rush in square combo clearly see that's let's hit that's faster that's only uh seven hits but it act but it finishes the combo faster than the other way so the rush in means you're doing the combo as fast as possible so you and to do a rush in you have to like snap you have to snap uh forward to, to your opponent so if you just dash your opponent it still be a normal combo but if you snap towards your opponent then it'll be like a fast version so keep that in mind when you want to use those cancels uh if you're doing the square square one you have to snap into the combo and then that's when you do it and again you just snap into square square and then if it works you keep your combo going whichever combo you choose to do but if it doesn't work you need to cancel out of it that's why it's called the square square cancel so what is the canceling part? You just throw a key, a key ball, and then you move your analog stick into the opposite direction. That way you go backwards, just like that. So again, pin with the square square, and then if it doesn't work, you cancel out of it, go back just like that. So then, you know, when you're doing it right, it looks something like this. Um, yeah, so, so that's the square square one. Uh, the square triangle one, same thing. Rushing into square triangle. If it doesn't work, uh, then you cancel out of it. And if it does work, oh, okay. You have to keep that. You have to uh, be careful for that because a lot of people, what they're end up doing, they'll do the square square cancel and it will work. They'll actually be attacking their opponent, but they still cancel out of it because they're moving too fast. So you got to make that split second decision right there on the spot in the middle of the fight. You got to determine whether or not your combo is connecting the way you want it to. If it is, you keep it going. If it's not, you do uh, you cancel out of it. So don't don't be that person that ends up, you know, canceling out of combos that they don't need to cancel out of. But if you do need to cancel, remember, throw out that key ball and then just go backwards. Just like that. Um, another cancel. This is one that you don't rush into. So all you do is just square attack cancel. Now, when would this be best used? This is best used for close range combat when your opponent is just like standing there. Because think about it. If they keep seeing you, you know, 
doing that the whole time. They can predict when you're going to attack. And since all they do is sidestep anyways and, you know, try to perfect block and then grab, they're going to do exactly that. They're going to predict where you're going to attack from, sidestep to the right or left, and then they're going to grab and block. And then, you know, you're going to get grabbed, take some damage, and then they'll do that as much as possible. So this one, you can, you know, be close. If it doesn't work, cancel out of it. This way, you know, you're, you're faster. And you can see the close range, harder, harder to predict since you're so close. Because the less movement, the harder it is for, to be predict. Again, the less movements you make, the harder it is to be predict, which is why you need to change up your cancels. So again, when you're in close range, um, <clears throat> when you are in close range, do that, you know, you're good to go. Also, you know, this one is slower, but as you can see, it does more damage, which may be uh, what you want, because that means it has, like, you know, Possibly a bigger frame since it is a triangle combo. But either way, the square one is fast because, as you can see, let me pause it. So, like, uh, you can barely see it. It's not like this photo mode. You can clearly see, you know, he's throwing out like a punch, and that punch is good because it's fast activated. So, quick punch, cast out. Quick punch, cast out. Quick punch, cast out. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, that is how you use the cancels, folks. Uh, again, that is perfect for with, for fighting. You know, side steppers, guard masters, step blockers, and grab spammers. Because again, they're going to try to grab spam you. That way they can do damage because they're trash and they don't know how to do anything else. Which is okay, you know, they're doing the best they can. But since you're becoming a pro by, you know, <laughs> doing exactly what I teach you, you'll be good to go. Now, obviously, every cancel for, for a character that can use cancel is different. So you have to um, make that decision on which cancel you want to use. For instance, for some characters, the square triangle cancel might be faster than the square square one. So if you need speed, you use the faster one. If you need something that lasts a little bit longer, then you use the one that you know has the longest um, cancel, the longest combo. Um, and if you need you know close range speed, you do that quick uh, square attack cancel or that quick uh, that quick um, triangle cancel. So keep that in mind when using the cancels. And that is how you counter step blockers, guard masters, side steppers, and grab All you need to do is cancel. Because they can't grab you if they can't touch you. And they can't touch you because, okay, so if you don't understand what it is they're doing, I'm about to explain it. So pay attention and listen to the details because when you understand what your opponent is doing, it's much easier to develop a counter. So why they suck sidestep and guard so much is that they know you're coming to attack, right? So what they do is when you're attacking like this, right? If you don't cancel out of it, you're way easier to hit because it's so it, it's so slow because you have to wait until the combo is finished and then that's when you can uh you know move backwards so since they know that they're gonna you know have you come in to attack them and when you do that they're gonna sidestep now while they're sidestepping your combo is still going to be activated it's just you're going to be missing since they sidestepped you which is why they're going to end up you know grabbing you because that's what they're that's, that is their goal however the reason why they also um spam block two is that sometimes they can't predict whether or not your combo will connect so just in case they don't want to take any damage and so you know since they're used to blocking anyways they're just going to keep blocking and sidestepping and then grab you when they feel comfortable doing so. so you use the 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 canceling method you know the the cancel to get out of the combo fast enough to dodge their grabs that is what it's used for okay you can't complain about it being cancerous because it is a method to fight types of cancel so keep that in mind when using it and that is all you need to know folks that is how you do that is how you, um, you know, counter this form of cheese, which you are going to see so much more nowadays with the Xenoverse 2.5. Um, that's all for this video, folks. Be sure to leave a like, uh, and you know, um, subscribe if you have not already, because I am making more of these types of videos. Um, let me know in the comments 
if you have any um, questions about this method or if you want me to make a video regarding another form of cheese that you know that, that you uh, have trouble beating and I'll be sure to, to uh, do that as quick as I can um, but yeah folks that's basically it for this video and um, however uh, I am going to show you this really cool <laughs> guy Vegeta combo and uh, that is how I'll end this video so again thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one all right, everybody, welcome to this great combo part of the video. So, obviously, we, we're using the new, ad, newly added um, Super Saiyan Guy Vegeta, and this is a quick um, stamina break combo. Now, the combo you're about to see is beautiful, however, it is a stamina break combo, but a lot of people enjoy really good stamina break combos, and that is exactly what this is. So, I'm going to set off the auto recovery because we don't even need it. But you will see me using burst charge, but you'll see it using, me using it fast because literally it's fast enough for me to activate it and then activate the ultimate and I'll still, you know, be doing the combo correctly. So with that said, let's turn off that auto recovery because when you act, when you turn that off, that basically means your opponent's stamina is broken and that is what we want for this part of the video. So now let's get into the combo. Uh, oh, first, actually, we'll turn on that uh, key real quick because let's activate that Super Soul all three times so we can maximize the damage. As you can see, we've activated it three times, and now we are good to go. With that said, let's pull out this beautiful combo, folks. Origin, origin. Get that key. That's all we need. Oh, oh my God, that's beautiful. And we ain't done yet. Pull him to the ground, folks. Beautiful. But yeah, folks, that is a combo right there. Gorgeous combo. Gorgeous. Uh, feel free to uh, take a screenshot of those inputs on the side of the screen if you want to know how to do it as well. Um, with that said, folks, um, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, see y'all soon.